I'm having a lot of promiscuous sex nowadays, unprotected, of course. Oh, didn't I say it's part of my Occupy Wall Street revival? You don't hear much about it anymore, but that's cool because I'm totally diverse and all that shiz. I love to join. I'm a joiner. Inclusive. I don't always keep my membership cards up to date, and sometimes it's honorary, and this is only a partial list, but in no particular order, I'm a past or current member of... Occupy, Antifa, NARAL, SLA slash BLM, Mecha, Media Matters, Shining Path, Rainbow Coalition, Black Panthers, Wobblies, Me Too, Church of Satan, California State Assembly, ISIS, Move On, Bader Meinhof Gang, Red Brigade, NAMBLA, Weatherman Underground, People for the American Way, Khmer Rouge, DNC, Gang of Five, and Wokeanity Now. I like the ones that are more than one word, but pushed together and with capitals, me too, move on. We've not found a good acronym, but we'll underline it with climate change, or maybe save the planet. Oh, oh, I forgot, the anti-Jew majority. But we're not sure about the name, all the good ones are taken, anti-Semite, pro-Palestinian, Nazi. We're looking at gays for Gaza, homos for Hamas, pansies for Palestine, trans for terror, queers for Al-Qaeda, that's a blast from the past, and, um, I'm just spitballing here, but, uh, lesbos, no, um, uh, lesbolas for Hezbollah. Yeah, that's good. So, with Occupy, all that sex I'm having is to dramatize how the bankers want to screw us all. Also, I don't bathe to demonstrate how dirty they are, and I'm using a buttload of drugs to demonstrate their greed and lack of self-control. I defecate publicly, but that's just me. Sometimes I don't even drop my pants, but when I'm in a toilet, for some reason, there's no need to flush, because I do it on the floor. I never buy anything from the store, because capitalism is evil. I just shoplift to share the wealth, and it's reparations. I am owed because my ancestors built the Roman Colosseum as slaves. My gig is to recite spontaneous poetry accompanied by mandolin and bongos, while specifically asexuals dance with scarves. Here, let me make one up just now, totally extempore. Ahem. Ooh, woo. Hugga fubba, hugga fubba, hugga fubba, hugga fugga flap! Oh, you man with the big briefs case. Think you so macho, but you ain't the shiz bulging in your pants all like that beefy and bulging. But nobody's looking at you hot cakes, and your money don't make you no man. Big man, that bulge is in the back of your pants. You carrying a wad, all right? A shiz, hug a fub, a plap, flap. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, 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 I'd call it wad man. No, wad street man. Yeah. To symbolize how phallocentric they are and how they want us to live in the streets. I think I'll submit it to the New York Times book review. I was a gender studies poetry major before I dropped out because major is so militaristic and homophobic. Oh, oh, here, here, here. It's another poem. Ahem. Occupy movement. Occupy your movement, your street, your sheet, your bowel movement, your toilet moment, your TP roll, your one-ply street. Right on the wall, street, right on, right on, right one ply, ply your trades all day, triple play, okay, no way, in your tie, in your briefs, brief, double cross, case. Thank you, thank you very much. That one was in danger of actually becoming good, so I had to stop. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Obama, who occupied, yeah, the White House, he was the best president ever. And Biden is, too. Now, excuse me while I shiz.